Okay, this is the Breville Smart Grinder. Uh, the model number is, at, there it is, BCG820. So this is the second, the second edition. I'm going to do a full uh, removal of the burrs and a deep clean. I'll show you what you need to do. Firstly, of course, take off the hopper. You want to get the top burr out, which is quite easy. Twist it out like this. Okay. And uh, now, to get out the lower burr, we're going to need a uh, socket. For this, it's a reverse thread, so don't turn it the way you would normally turn it. What I'm going to use is a long attachment socket. So if you try to turn it the normal way, counterclockwise, you'll just be tightening it. So let's go the other way. And there we go, she's loose. Okay. The rest of the weight, it can come off by finger. Okay. Now under that we have a lock washer, a self-locking washer to keep the nut from getting itself off. Oh, okay, so I'm going to fully remove the lower burr along with the washers carefully. And I'll just sit them down there. Just remember there's two washers there. So when you put it all back together, this one spring washer it goes on top un under the nut <clears throat> okay so I'm going to vacuum that out a bit now and uh, give that a clean up okay so under the bottom burr we have this base plate with the you get something pointy and hook it out there it is okay this little thing has these sawtooth kind of design to it to move the coffee grounds out and away. All right, so that's good. We'll give that a, cl a clean. And underneath, down in here, we have uh, there's a couple of shims. There's a little felt uh, felt thing around the bottom drive shaft. Let's pull that out. Okay, down inside here, there's actually a couple of shim washers here too. So if you do turn it all upside down, these might all fall out. That's better. Okay, so you can see that little clump of coffee I missed. The sun shining there, and you can see the shaft, the channel by which the coffee gets out. Okay, so this is the drive shaft. The shim washers are still there. Let's turn it upside down to get those shim washers out. There's still one in there. There it is, okay, two shim washers. Let's put everything neatly together. So we've got here the bottom burr, the two washers that go under the nut on top, the base plate and the two shims that go under it and the felt ring. Here's the drive shaft, just checking for movement. I don't know if you can see it, but it moves about, where's it gone? That's probably close to two mil up and down movement. Left and right, not so much. Yeah, up and down about two mil. So possibly that drive shaft gets pushed up during drive while grinding the beans and uh, get stuck up 
forcing it to grind a lot finer than it should. Um, now that amount of movement is quite huge in terms of fineness of grind because when we think about the, the adjustment here on the top burr, the adjustment that we get here for um, from the, the coarsest setting to the finest, you can see with these the uh, sleeve here, it moves only about a mil from coarsest to finest. Let's have a look at that. So here we've got the coarsest setting that's sticking out about one mil. It's hard for you to tell in the camera, but to my eye that looks like one mil. Uh, and the finest setting is flush. Let me just do that. Okay, now we have the finest setting. So now it's gone flush under there, you can see. So that's the adjustments, one mil, coarsest to finest uh, of the top burr adjustment. But this shaft here is coming in and out about two mil. Maybe, maybe that's one mil. Mm, not good. Okay, so now you've fully removed all the burrs and bits and pieces and vacuumed out the inside nice and clean. So it's like almost as clean as brand new in there now. Um, we can give our burrs a good little brush up, clean them up nice and clean as well, and put it all back together. So I've put the grinder back together without the two shims underneath the bottom burr. And with the top burr at the most coarsest adjustment and I've got it set down to 11, which I think is probably close to um, the right fineness. And I've found uh, it takes probably 20 or more seconds. So let's give it a go. So that was 20 seconds. And let's see how many grams of coffee I've got out of that. Twenty seconds netted me almost eighteen grams of coffee. Oh, a little bit more to get out twenty. There we go. That's probably twenty and a half seconds. Really? Oh, twenty and two twenty and two point something seconds, apparently. All right, so let's see how that pours now with that grind at 11. Okay, so now it's in there, tamped nicely the way I tamp all of my shots. And let's see what I get out of this. And let's restart the timer. It's pretty decent. A little bit fast. Pretty, pretty good though. Oh, that was ristretto. Uh, about 20, 18, 18 to 20 seconds. Ristretto. Not bad, not bad.